I'm going to lead you now in the renewal or making for the first time, for those making for the first time, of the total consecration to Jesus through Mary. And so after having followed uh, the apparitions of Our Lady and tried to learn from them over the course of the past 33 days, we'll have now the renewal of the consecration. And the, the heart of the consecration, as St. Louis de Mumford says, is not the specific words, it's the desire to uh, the desire to live every day with Mary, in Mary, by Mary, and for Mary. And there's a bit of construction noise going on outside that you might hear, um, but I will I'll lead you now. So let's take a moment of silence to remember that right now the Blessed Virgin Mary and our Lord are right here present wherever you are in the world and they're gazing into your heart and your soul, eagerly awaiting this offering so that they can take up their abode, as it were, and, and act much more powerfully in your heart and your soul, in your life, in your life and in the lives of those around you. O eternal and incarnate wisdom, O sweetest and most adorable Jesus, true God and true man, only Son of the Eternal Father and of Mary, always Virgin, I adore Thee profoundly in the bosom and splendors of Thy Father during eternity, and I adore Thee also in the virginal bosom of Mary, Thy most worthy Mother, in the time of Thine Incarnation. I give thee thanks for that thou hast annihilated thyself, taking the form of a slave in order to rescue me from the cruel slavery of the devil. I praise and glorify thee for that thou hast been pleased to submit thyself to Mary, thy most holy mother, in all things, in order to make me thy faithful slave through her. But, alas, ungrateful and faithless as I have been, I have not kept the promises which I made so solemnly to thee in my baptism. I have not fulfilled my obligations. I do not deserve to be called thy child, nor yet thy slave. And as there is nothing in me which does not merit thine anger and thy repulse, I dare not come by myself before thy most holy and august majesty. It is on this account that I have recourse to the intercession of thy most holy mother, whom thou hast given me for mediatrix with thee. It is through her that I hope to obtain of thee contrition, the pardon of my sins, and the acquisition and preservation of wisdom. Hail then, O Immaculate Mary, living tabernacle of the divinity, where the eternal wisdom willed to be hidden and to be adored by angels and by men. Hail, O Queen of heaven and earth, to whose empire everything is subject, which is under God. Hail, O sure refuge of sinners, whose mercy fails no one. Hear the desires which I have of the divine wisdom, and for that end receive the vows and offerings which in my lowliness I present to thee. I, Father Anthony Pilari, a faithless sinner, Renew and ratify today in thy hands the vows of my baptism. I renounce forever Satan, his pomps and works, and I give myself entirely to Jesus Christ, the incarnate wisdom, to carry my cross after him all the days of my life, and to be more faithful to him than I have ever been before. In the presence of all the heavenly court, I choose thee this day for my mother and mistress, I deliver and consecrate to thee as thy slave my body and soul, my goods both interior and exterior, 
and even the value of all my good actions, past, present, and future, leaving to thee the entire and full right of disposing of me and of all that belongs to me, without exception, according to thy good pleasure, for the greater glory of God in time and eternity. Receive, O benignant virgin, this little offering of my slavery, in honor of and in union with that subjection which the eternal wisdom deigned to have thy deigned to have to thy, to thy maternity, in homage to the power which both of you have over this poor sinner, and in thanksgiving for the privileges with which the Holy Trinity has favored thee. I declare that I wish henceforth as thy true slave to seek thy honor and to obey thee in all things. O admirable mother, present me to thy dear son as his eternal slave, so that as he has redeemed me by thee, by thee he may receive me. O mother of mercy, grant me the grace to obtain the true wisdom of God, and for that end receive me among those whom thou lovest and teachest, whom thou leadest, nourishest, and protectest as thy children and thy slaves. O faithful virgin, make me in all things so perfect a disciple, imitator and slave of the incarnate wisdom, Jesus Christ thy Son, that I may attain by thine intercession and by thine example to the fullness of his age on earth and of his glory in heaven. Amen. Let's take one more moment in silence now to thank God in advance for the incredible graces He just poured out and will pour out through this consecration. And then if you still have one more moment, there's something important I'd like to say to you before you go. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And so thank you, above all, thank you so much for making this consecration, for giving the joy to the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Sacred Heart of our Lord that you've given by what you just offered them, by offering yourself. The last few words I wanted to say to you today is there's something which we made a choice to hold off on uh, during April and May because we wanted to prioritize, give all the attention to this consecration during May and then during April to preparing uh, the different teachings for this consecration. And so because of that, there's a really important message uh, which I'll give you tomorrow for which I'd like to ask your help, a wonderful, beautiful stage in the construction project. So I would earnestly ask you to consider making a novena of nine days of prayer with us beginning tomorrow. Very simple novena. It'll, it'll be much shorter. Uh, very short, actually, in terms of the prayer. It'll mainly be praying the rosary together. And then to listen to a simple message. Uh, you'll also have the opportunity to see tomorrow a number of the families who pray this rosary with you every day throughout the world, to see some pictures of them, which hopefully will be a, a joy for you, and you'll get a glimpse of those you're praying with. Um, but there's some wonderful news and some very exciting things coming up for which I need to ask for your help. And so if you would please... Uh, please pray with me from tomorrow for the next nine days. Uh, we knew that by holding off on this, many families, once they get to the summer, um, they're in a different mode and it might be harder to get your attention, but we felt it, the important thing was to prioritize the consecration to Our Lady, and, and I'm sure that was the right thing to do. So we sincerely hope, if you can, that you'll join us tomorrow and then for the following eight days. And a reminder that the Mass this Friday, as every first Friday, is offered for all of those who are making possible, all the benefactors of this ministry, uh, through your contributions, through your donations, through your work, through your sacrifices, through your prayers. So God bless all of you, and may Our Lady grant you much joy now that you more fully belong to her through this consecration. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the Holy Rosary.